Jiang Zemin was an outstanding leader who enjoyed high prestige acknowledged by the whole party, the entire military, and the Chinese people of all ethnic groups. He was a great believer in Marxism, an outstanding proletarian revolutionary, statesman, military strategist, and diplomat. Aside from this, he was also a long-tested communist fighter and an outstanding leader of socialism with Chinese characteristics. He was the core of the CPC's third generation of central collective leadership and the principal founder of the theory of three represents. Jiang was born on August 17, 1926, in Yangzhou City, Jiangsu Province, into a family of scholars that traditionally valued patriotism. In 1943, Jiang pursued higher studies in the university in Nanjing. He actively participated in the patriotic students' progressive movements in resistance against Japanese aggression. Jiang joined the Communist Party of China and became a communist fighter in April 1946. In 1954, China was in need of a large number of technical and management cutters for the construction of the first automotive works in Changchun. Jiang was assigned to the plant. In April 1955, he went to the Stalin Automobile Works in Moscow, where he worked as a trainee. After returning to China in May 1956, he served in the first automotive works in Changchun. In 1980, he served as vice chairman of the State Administration Commission on Import and Export Affairs and the State Administration Commission on Foreign Investment. During his services, he pioneered special policies and flexible measures in Guangzhou and Fujian provinces and piloted special economic zones. In 1983, Jiang Zemin became the Minister of the Ministry of Electronics Industry. In September 1982, Jiang Zemin was elected as a member of the CPC Central Committee at the 12th CPC National Congress. In 1985, Jiang Zemin became mayor of Shanghai, and in 1987, he became secretary of the CPC Shanghai Municipal Committee. He actively supported the development and opening up of Pudong, emphasizing the need to make it an international, pivotal, modern, and world-class new urban area. In November 1987, Jiang Zemin was elected as a member of the political bureau of the CPC Central Committee. And during the serious political turmoil in China in the spring and summer in 1989, he supported and implemented the correct decision of the CPC Central Committee to oppose unrest, defend socialist state power, and safeguard the fundamental interests of the people. In June 1989, Jiang Zemin was elected as a member of the Standing Committee of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee and the General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee. In March 1990, Jiang Zemin was elected chairman of the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China. In March 1993, Jiang Zemin was elected president of the People's Republic of China and chairman of the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China. In November 2002, Jiang Zemin set out the goal of building a moderately prosperous society in all respects and elaborated on the fundamental requirements for the full implementation of the important thought of the three represents. Jiang Zemin suggested that the first two decades of the 21st century would be a development stage for building a moderately prosperous society in all respects. This stage is a vital component for China to complete the ultimate step of its three-step development strategy for modernization. It is also the key stage to improve the socialist market economy system and further open up to the world. He suggested that human resources are paramount and that party committees and governments at all levels should work hard to cultivate, attract, and make good use of talent. He attached great importance to the key role science and technology plays in developing social productive forces. He proposed to vigorously promote knowledge 
and SciTech innovation to build a nationwide knowledge innovation system to boost China's self-innovation capability and achieve technological advancement. Jiang Zemin further deepened the theoretical foundation of China's socialist reform. In the 1990s, he established the reform objectives and basic framework of the socialist market economy and created the new reality of China's comprehensive reform and opening up. In June 1992, he decided that China must carry out a fundamental reform of its highly centralized planned economy. Otherwise, it would be impossible to realize full modernization. That year, the 14th National Congress of the CPC formally set the establishment of a socialist market economy as the goal of China's economic reform. By the end of the 20th century, China had established the basic framework of the socialist market economy. In the 1990s, Jiang Zemin firmly grasped the trend of accelerating economic globalization and stressed that China must open up to the world. China must strengthen exchanges and cooperation with other countries in trade, science and technology and culture and absorb and learn from all the advanced achievements to become rich and strong. He expounded on the principles for China's accession to the WTO, making China grasp the initiative in the entire process of negotiating its accession and formally becoming a WTO member in December 2001. He stressed that China's development and progress are inseparable from the fruits of the civilization of all countries. In terms of the construction of a socialist economy with Chinese characteristics, Jiang Zemin proposed to realize the transformation of the economic growth pattern from extensive to intensive and keep the economic growth at a fast, sustainable pace. In Jiang Zemin's view, the country needed to adhere to and improve the socialist democratic system. He demanded to ensuring that the people exercise democratic elections, decision-making, democratic management and supervision. Besides that, he wanted people to enjoy a wide range of rights and freedoms and for the country to respect and protect human rights in accordance with the law. Regarding religions, Jiang noted that the party's policies of freedom of religious belief should be fully implemented and the country's religious affairs should be managed by law. He put forward that the country should implement the rule of law and strengthen the socialist legal system. In terms of the cultural construction, Jiang Zemin put forward that this is an important force in uniting and motivating people of all ethnic groups of the country and an important symbol of comprehensive national strength. Hong Kong returned to China on July 1, 1997 and Macau on December 20, 1999. He went to Hong Kong and Macau to attend the handover ceremonies. He stressed that the principle of one country, two systems, must be fully and correctly implemented under all circumstances. With the firm support of the central government, the governments of the two special administrative regions adeptly responded to the Asian financial crisis. Jiang grasped the overall situation on resolving the Taiwan question and worked for the two sides of the Taiwan Straits to reach the 1992 consensus that embodies the One China Principle and advances cross-strait consultations and negotiations. In the face of the ups and downs in the international arena, Jiang had a profound insight into global trends. He pointed out that peace and development remain the theme. He pointed out that China takes strengthening solidarity and cooperation with developing countries as the basic tenet of its foreign policy. He called for active efforts to move the world towards multipolarity, promote democracy in international relations, respect the diversity of the world and strengthening exchanges and mutual learning among civilizations. Jiang Zemin was very concerned with the self-construction of the Communist Party. He demanded officials take more actions for the benefit of the people, always keep the safety of the people in mind, 
be concerned about people's hardships, and strive to do practical and good things for their people. When Jiang took the helm of the party and the country, the world's socialism was facing critical tests. Under his leadership, China overcame difficulties and risks arising in the political, economic, and natural fields, and in particular, successfully coped with the impact of the Asian financial crisis. Under his steady hand, China managed to fight the severe floods in 1998. In March 2005, the MPC adopted a decision on accepting the resignation request of Jiang Zemin from the chairman of the Central Military Commission of the People's Republic of China. After retiring from his leadership post, he firmly supported the work of the CPC Central Committee, care about the great cause of socialism with Chinese characteristics, and back the party's fight against corruption. The three represents created by Jiang reflected the new requirements of the party and the state, due to the changes and development of China and the contemporary world. It is a precious spiritual wealth of the party and the people.